Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. An alternating current AC generator produces a peak EMF of E0 and the periodic time of T. What are the peak EMF and periodic time when the frequency of rotation is doubled? Okay, so the frequency is doubled and we want to understand this. Okay, so um, I think uh, this formula is not given in the data booklet, but it is given in the book, in the so course and others. So you can refer to the theory also. And uh, I can also give you a bit of that. Uh, let us say that there is this uh, magnet here and there is this coil. In the coil like this. And just a moment, just a moment. Only. Okay, so there is this uh, rotor here, it is connected, and this coil is now rotating. So there is uh, the angular speed of omega. So uh, first of all, what will be the flux? I'm going to give you a bit of uh, the description also. So first of all, in this kind of cases, we are going to find the flux. So the flux is B into A. So B is the magnetic field. A is the area and let us say n is the number of turns there so i'm multiplying n also and obviously there will be cos omega t because uh, in the formula for the flux we have cos theta and theta is omega t so this is our starting equation now when we differentiate it so e comes out to be b a n omega comes out of the bracket and this is converted into sine omega t obviously there will be a negative sign but that will be nullified because of the Lenz law it will be negative d phi by dt that is why so minus and minus gets cancelled out it becomes b and omega sine omega t so b a n omega this is taken as e naught sine omega t e clearly in this very short derivation that i have given you we have derived the formula for the instantaneous alternating emf voltage and so it is this now the question says that we have doubled the frequency so frequency is doubled so one thing is very clear that time period will be halved no doubt about that so definitely the time period is halved but what about the peak voltage now you have to see this is the peak voltage and so the peak voltage is given by n b a omega so omega is there in the multiplication now if omega is doubled what does it mean it means that the peak voltage is doubled it means B is the correct answer. So this is how we do this question, my dear students. This formula is really very important. And I have seen this question, like this question is a repeat telecast because majority of the students, they come to this conclusion that yes, the time period will be halved, but they are not able to understand why the amplitude is going to be multiplied by two. So this is a really very important question. You have to understand this uh, completely. Let us go for the mark scheme and see if actually the answer is B. And yes, you can see in the mark scheme, the answer is B. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Thanks for joining. Please share the video with all your friends. All the best. Bye.